Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Simulacrum Chapter 1. This is a free indie horror game available on Game Jolt. You can check it out in the description. It is said to be heavily inspired by Silent Hill, and it was created by a very small team of developers. I think two people made the majority of the game, and then they outsourced voice acting and localization, things like that. We're gonna check it out right now. Real difficulty. <laughs> Puzzles will be more challenging with fewer hints. I can take it. I can take the hit. Let's go. I'm excited about this. Where's my Deep down, my I gotta fix There's that nothing but a dust I want you to disaster. I want you to you anyway. even want to. And yet, I desire you to stand in separation between the gift and the world. Why bring anyone into this world that you wish hasn't ever been? I like endings. So I wish I could destroy what I made up. What I made up is what I made up. That's why I know because I don't ever know. Where did I come from? Where do I go? Alright. Ooh. Tank controls. Classic. The game looks really nice. Oh, I didn't mean to just leave. These controls are going to take some getting used to for me. I don't play a whole lot of games with tank controls these days. My reading motivation curve is weird. I can hardly bring myself to read a book, but when I do, I devour it in about half no time. Okay. Translation's a little awkward. Playing Valley of Noise has made me really weary of leaving this on static. I think that should be wary, not weary. It's not very smart to drown your worries in sound waves. I'm probably going to be deaf before I'm 50 thanks to that thing. <laughs> what, the cassette player? Nice. Sorry, no lion in there. And that's a Chronicles of Narnia reference. Strange to say the least. All right, let's go ahead and leave and find that cat that was meowing. Do what thou wilt, but what is my true will? I don't know, you're pondering a whole lot of deep things in your apartment. What are you doing, kitty cat? Let Strolly go outside. Strolly, perhaps? Yes. Sure. Hey, Strolly. You want to get out? Huh? My... my doorknob's gone? What the... The horror. It begins. Uh-oh. Cat mad. Look at him. Ready to pounce. <gasps> What's this? How the heck did this get here? Is someone here with me? Let's go find out. Someone in the bathroom. I always check behind the shower curtain. What? Is that a hole in the wall? I prefer baths. I can take my time with them without feeling too bad. Unless I think about lying in my own liquefying filth. Okay. So do you really prefer baths? Because it sounds like you don't. Water damage. Had to fill the hole myself. That troglophile creep next door sure was happy about the hole in the bathroom wall. <laughs> troglophile, huh? <laughs> so that, that appears to be a, a bit of a nod towards Silent Hill 4's bathroom. The hole's a bit bigger in that game, though. Big enough to crawl through, you might say. Oh. So that's how we get sucked into Silent Hill. I mean, the simulacrum. Huh? 
How are we gonna get out of this one, gang? Fortunately, there's a flashlight right here. Got a flashlight. There's a handwritten letter here. Is it addressed to me? Let's read it. My dearest Abigail, the time we have spent apart is a gap of unforgivable size. It is a hole filled with longing and desire. I stare at it now, knowing that its vastness is shrinking for every word you read. But it remains great, and thus my being still aches for you. Sometimes I think to jump and let myself be taken by the shadows below. Perhaps it will bring me to you, though I worry it will only separate us further. But I know that in due time, we will be reunited. I want you to have something. Take my light. It will guide you through the blackest times and lead you back to me. Though, should you wish to hide in the shadows, and there's no shame in that, for darkness can protect you from those that would wish you harm, just remember my light will always be waiting for your return. Jennifer. Thanks, Jenny. I don't know what we would do without this flashlight. And this looks like a map over here. I got a map. I like the sound effect. Not your home, it says on the map. That's a little odd. Well, let's get out there. Let's get after it, guys. Excuse me. I'm, I'm kind of lost. Do you know how I got here? And... What even is this place? That's not an answer. <laughs> uh, where are you going? And where do I go? You were wondering that earlier. Well, if this is a classic Silent Hill game, uh, I would say we've got to go around that thing. I'm guessing the door on the other side of the room is locked, as well as the door that leads to the hallway the door is in. So we're going to have to find some keys. Let's go get it on. How do you sprint? Oh, X. Good, good, good. I am playing with a controller. I'm not a Philistine. Is that a clock on the door? No numbers or needle, though. We'll get to it later. This one opens, though. We need a weapon of some kind. Do not trust the light. It is a lie. The only truth is darkness. So we gotta turn our flashlight off for something? Interesting. So if I turn it off, nothing seems to change. Oh, you can walk across. It's like an Indiana Jones type of thing. That's weird. I got a silver seed. Um... Can I squeeze through? Oh, there's a key. There's a key inside. I can just about put my arm through to reach it. Yeah, let's go for it. I got a crimson key. I like that they give you the choice. Makes you think something's about to happen. I guess there's some sort of optical illusion there, right? Maybe. Anyway, thanks for the riddle. Had a great time. Okay, so we went through that room and we got what was beyond. Uh, let's keep going then. This one opens too. Creepy. It's a children's book, a collection of fairy tales. Well, what are they? Four hungry wolves sit beneath the sun. They wait, guarding the bridge to greener pastures. To their north, mountains loom that impale the sky. To their west, a lake of tainted water stirs. To their east, a forest lies shrouded in perpetual fog. A hiker then approaches, but not from the mountains. She offers the first wolf she sees a mind of shining gold. The beast accepts gratuitously and offers her safe passage. This riddle's getting real complicated real fast. A magpie then flies in. <laughs> All cast of characters in this riddle. Feathers wet, landing by the wolf, it too sees first. He opens his beak to reveal a soul of gleaming silver, like the silver seed we have. 
The wolf kills him and takes the soul for itself. Then a family of lumberjacks brave the toll. Wow, just get everyone in here, why don't we? They have only a body of bronze to offer. The wolf opposite to the golden mine takes it and lets them pass. Those three wolves then cross the bridge too, happily rich. An orphan approaches the last of wolves, but she has nothing to offer but company, as he is all alone by now. Yielding to temptation, the wolf reveals to be an angel and takes her up to paradise. What a crappy children's story. What's the moral? Approach stray wolves, apparently. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna find a couple different seats. There are holes in the soil, it's slightly damp too. Well, we don't have all the uh, items for this, so I'll just come back to it when we have more to, to use. Anyway, ooh, another thing to read. It's a newspaper article. I then asked Dr. Ashiato to explain how the discovery correlates with these apparitions. He said that everything, both material and immaterial, has the capability of making an impression on existence. Just as a footstep can make an indenture in the sand, so can our spirits in the world. He explained that different areas own varying tangibility factors, which are a sort of softness of reality, and that sometimes, in those places, we could leave an imprint behind. He claims they are the footprints of our souls, a shadowy echo that is but a fragment of ourselves. I see. I wonder if this is kind of an extension of the stone tape theory, which if you're not familiar, I think that's what it's called. The idea is that uh, when we see spirits or apparitions or things we can't understand, uh, it's a memory embedded in a physical object that's been recorded and sometimes repeats through end of time because it left such an impact on the place. Interesting. Interestingly, when I asked whether we could interact with these footprints, he warns that there are places soft enough to manifest the echoes quite considerably and that he wouldn't advise following them in such cases as they might even possess some corporeal ability. I don't know, I really like the stone tape theory or whatever it is to explain supernatural phenomena, but it's more just, I like it in the dramatic way, I guess, not in the literal way. Cages being lowered into fire. Impressionism? <laughs> uh, now's not the time to criticize the art. Oh, there's a cliff right here. Oh, is this a gold seed? Got a golden seed, okay, so that's another one that we need to plant in that convoluted wolf puzzle. Lock is broken, can't get in. Okay, is there another place where we can go? Let's get out of this hallway and go back to where we were. They really nailed the atmosphere of Silent Hill and the sound effects, the, like the really subtle film grain. It all looks really good. It's a book on the Zodiac, oh God. So we got Libra, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Wait, what does it say on the book? There's a highlighted passage. Time, of course, plays a primary role for, the, for this matter. One should rely on the highlighted information. I don't know if that's important or not. Another clock? This one has the zodiac instead of numbers. Used to be into that stuff, but me? Scorpio? No wonder I've lost faith in it. Such a Scorpio thing to say. Uh, can't get the window open and shut tight. Mm. Welcome back to this. Are we, is there another floor? Oh no. Uh, how long does this go down? Is it perpetual? No, there is a bottom. Give me this. I really don't want to know what's under there. No, I, take the screwdriver. That's good, right? All right. 
We have we haven't used the crimson key yet. Rusty flathead screwdriver. It's a flathead. Okay. Important to note. What's down here? It opens. Where am I on the map now? Oh, I see. Rubbing scary. It's a framed portrait of me? Who the heck painted me sleeping? At least I hope I'm sleeping. But I feel warm, like I'm safe. Protected. Weird. Oh, safe spot? That is neat. I'm in the lower tunnels right now. Discarded art. Looks like they were saved from fire. What's going on here? I thought I saw something. This is another seed. It's like a bronze seed, I guess. So what, there's a platinum seed? It's a book on ritual killings. Though not confined to the ancient Celts, Irish bog bodies sometimes indicate ritual killings. One of the corpses was bound and restrained, but more importantly also cut in half with one huge cut across the body. Another one was struck once across the body with an axe and disemboweled. <laughs> Both these men were failed kings or failed candidates for kingship. But our Lord sacrificed himself in such a way for our own salvation and not to fail as king, but to reign above all. That's an odd way to end things, wouldn't you say? What's this? Stick your hand in there. Oh no. It's like a peephole. Too dark to see anything. All right. Personally, that's not the treatment I would favor for my own rem remnants. Yeah. It's kind of a small body, isn't it? Maybe do we have to come back here? Probably have to come back here for something. What do you think I could use on that peephole? The crematorium. So it's not really a peephole. It's to burn something. Uh, okay, well, I'll come back to this. All right, back out in the hallway. Hmm. See where we can go now. This has a green light over it. I don't know if that's significant. There's a keyhole here. It's surrounded by green jewels. So I guess a, a green gem key, not a red gem key like what we currently have. The season's keys are stolen. Spring was taken by angels. Summer was engulfed by darkness. Autumn is claimed by time. Winter follows the holy assumption. Ah, oh, I guess I have the summer key because it was engulfed by darkness, right? Hmm. Got a box of matches about time. What about this? What does this say? The religions of ancient times commonly included fertility cult rituals, angel worship, and priestesses who served as the wife of the god. Temple prostitutes abounded, and sexual prosperity was carried out in the name of religion. So we got some bracketed words there. Times, angel, prosperity. Some sort of missionary leaflet? Well, temple prostitution is not my cup of tea. Thanks. <laughs> I should hope not. Let's save. Room of locks is where we are. I used the crimson key, so what does that do? I've put that crimson key in. I'm guessing this is like the last place we need to be. Let's go get those other three keys then. Something this way, maybe? Ooh, another book. I'm tired of reading these books, but okay. These sacred paintings we draw with sinner's oil serve as a pathway into the holy mind of God, for his sleeping consciousness is the father of many sibling worlds, which we can divine, alter, and enter through paint. Each color pigment shade represents and controls the frequency of his divine light. The most excellent primer for manifesting is BLACK! All caps. This color is the void before and beyond life. It is death. The canvas of creation, a holy color, and we must seek permission from God to use it to create. On top of the mortal primer, the greatest color of power and life is red, it is the color of the act through which we funnel his divine light inside us and birth his children. 
The perfect medium for such paint is blood, the raging force that flows from our heart, which beats in fury until it rests in him. The color of emotional outburst, <laughs> ideal to break through the fabric of the plains. Some colors should be avoided, or at least be used with care, not necessarily because of their corresponding emotions, but because of other devious associations. I'm sorry, red and black are on the other side of that? <laughs> so green is devious in this world, I see. It's deemed the color of paradise among some Eastern heretics, though not among us. Here in the West, both envy and money has claimed this color also, an idolatrous symbol of empty value and those unworthy of worship. For the only value is your worth to God, crossed out, our angel, and he is all that should and must be worshiped, for he is a Lord, not envious, but jealous nonetheless. Not envious, but jealous. All right, don't get it twisted. We abstain from blue, since it is a color of sadness and melancholy, weak emotions that tether us to the upper realm. How fitting, as it has also been the traditional color of the weaker sex. Men? Stemming from a tradition as ludicrous as it is dangerous, namely that a virgin had birthed a false god without the angelic intercourse which should have taken place. We would not want to relate our sacred paintings to such misguided traditions. I'm confused. My feelings, sex, and colors make me weak? Maybe I am. Wait, so are you supposed to be the weaker sex? I... But uh, typically, blue is associated with boys, with men. That's why when there's a gender reveal for babies, blue usually means boy. I think the whole thing is strange, but... I'm just saying. Oh. It's like the wall is wounded. Can't get through without the with those bars screwed on so tightly. May I find something to take them out? Ooh, you mean like oop, wrong one. You mean like a screwdriver? I'm smart. Oh, we go in now, huh? Sweet. Where are we on the map? So if we go straight, I see. If we go straight, we go into the not your home room with all the locks. So we should go to the right, I would think. But these are, aren't these uh, zodiac symbols? I don't have a map of this place, uh oh. We also don't have any weapons. It brought me back. Are we supposed to go through in a certain order? Can I open this? Lock is broken. All right, so the only way that I can get in is through that weird room that we were just in. Okay, so the hiker approaches to give gold. The magpie flies in to give silver, right? And then the lumberjacks come in to give bronze. So, and then the orphan has nothing to give. So, I'm trying to figure out where I need to place the seeds in the puzzle. So to their north, mountains loom that impale the sky. To their west, a lake of tainted water stirs. So the magpie was wet. So I can assume that the silver came from the west. To the east, a forest lies. What comes from the south, then? The hiker comes from the south? Which means gold would come from the south, maybe? The wolf opposite to the golden takes it and lets them pass. Okay, I'm just gonna try it and see how it works. I think I know which one goes where. So assuming that this one's north, bronze, oh wait, okay, so Bronze goes north. Right? Huh? <laughs> okay, no, so this is north then. Silver's west. And then gold south. It worked. Oh, a ladder. Hey, I solved the puzzle on the highest difficulty. 
normal. <laughs> I'm doing so well. Ooh. Let's do this. No weapons so far? I'm hoping I get a weapon at some point. Although, of course, there's no enemies either. Hey there. Okay. Not the talkative type, huh? Where am I going? The hell? I don't get it. Well, let me take a look at it. How come I can't look at it? You are here, probably. It's pointing toward now, and then there's YAD also there. I don't know. Let's read this. I can see you are getting closer, my darling. It fills me with untold joy to know that our distance apart is but a fraction less with every step you take. But I must insist that you take care. We are not alone, you and I. Be wary of him. He is trapped as I am and will twist your thoughts against me to use you for himself. Do not break his chains, Jennifer. All right. Hmm. What about this? Essays on some strange religion written by a child, I think. <laughs> Sick burn. Is there anything else here? Where are we on the map? Oh. So him, is that in reference to the old man? We're beyond the bars now. Oh, this is glass though. Too hot to touch, though its fractures make it look rather fragile. Is there something we can use to break it up? We got a box of matches. I don't think we can open it with that. Can we go in? Oh wait, what's this? It looks like a jar or something. Jar of oil. Gross. Does this open right here? Lock from the other side. So we, like, literally can't go in that room. <laughs> How about this, though? Cutscene incoming? This is very Silent Hill looking right here. Looks almost straight out of the games. There's another clock down there. Alright, let's go down and see. What we're dealing with here. What am I doing? So there's valves. Oh. I wonder if this has something to do with the note we found earlier about green, blue, red, and black. And there's four different valves, so we gotta have them. Okay, what's this? What's this? Sorrowed child plays in light, angry forests at their end, envious birds flying north, death on a freezing night. Envious birds sounds like green, north. Right. Angry forests at their, okay. So what are these? There's writing under all these symbols, I can just about read it. Where are they? When woodlands wilt, when flowers bloom, when lands turned white, when sunlight burns. So we got, okay, angry forests at their ends. So that sounds like red. Envious birds sounds like green. Death sounds like black. Sorrowed child, blue? When flowers bloom, so that's spring. When woodlands wilt, that is autumn. When land turns white, winter. When sunlight burns, summer. So we got summer, winter, autumn, spring. Summer, winter, autumn, spring. Ugh, gotta keep this right in my head. Okay, so... Angry forests at their end, that sounds like autumn, red. So autumn, red. Flying north for winter. Death on a freezing night. So... Black... Black winter... Oh my gosh. Summer is blue, cause sorrowful child is playing in light. And then uh, the next one's winter, so that's black. And then autumn would be red, and then green is spring. I'm a puzzle god. You gonna drain the water? Drain the water. Let me in there. Let me into the foggy water. 
Thanks. We've done it. Okay, time to get out of here. Oh, save! Okay, we're out here. There doesn't appear to be anything. Ooh! Is there a thing on the other side of this? Kinda looks like it. It's got like a red gem. I don't know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. How about that? <sighs> okay, should I go down there first? Or should I go the other side? I'll go down here first. Cause I just unlocked it. Oh! Oh no, it broke! That's a shame. Uh, okay, I guess we just go th through the door. Classic. Really long, narrow staircase leading down. Where are we on the map? D I don't, uh, I knew you were gonna say it. As soon as I hit the button, I was like, it's gonna tell me that... What?! Okay, fine, I'll save. Pool stairs. Ooh. I don't expect you'll ever make it this far, but if you should actually get to read this, congratulations, child! I shouldn't be surprised, though, as your mind and spirit are of our Lord's divine blood. You are a branch of his sanguine fractal, after all. Sanguine? People told me how to pronounce it before and I don't remember. Of all the holy kin, you will be his Ark of Our Covenant. Just like in your orphan dreams, you will soon be with him. With your father. Uh, oh, it's a door now. I feel like I'm getting way off track. Do you know where I am now? You don't have a map of this place, of course you don't. Ugh. What is this exactly? Yet it's somehow familiar. Yeah, I don't know. What's in here? Oh my gosh, more writing. You must use the creed of their angel for you to be freed! He won't allow me his written tongue, so I give you my own. The key is flight. The key is flight. What is this? Bro, I don't know what... I don't know what this means. Runiform, but not Celtic. Can I decipher it somehow? Uh, apparently, the key is flight. Duh. Okay, let's go across. Let's see what's over here. There's a locked up locker. <laughs> Chained up locker, I guess would be a better way to say it. There's a chain wrapped around the locker. Oh. A six-digit code, basically? What's this? We praise you, angel of our seeds, who rose against the master's rule, who made his loss of love nigh not. Through us, your servants and your wives, you traded flight and freedom for fit worship and fertility for children and consorts to wed, yet God is dead. Long live his angel. So flight, right there, you traded flight I wonder if I have to match that up. You traded flight and freedom to the other one and find out like which runiform letters match up to flight. You traded flight. Okay, I think it's that word that looks like it says Otor. <laughs> By the way, when I started up the game, it was like, you might want to write this down. I'm not writing anything down. It's all up here. Keeping the mind sharp, baby. I just babied, so you know I'm serious. Right, let, let's put that sharp mind to the test. What was the first one? It was like, uh... I think it was that. O, and then the next one. It wasn't that. 
it was this. Is it this one? I think it is. Okay, now this one right here, this one's that one, which looks very similar to this one. Is it that? Yeah, I got it. Ooh, first try too. Solving all these puzzles, what's going on? <gasps> got a lever. Okay, and yeah, you don't have a map for this place. Okay, so we got a lever, a long detached lever. No, I don't want you to use it. Oh yeah, we've got the jar of oil. What do I do with the brown viscous oil? I could light this. So someplace where we would need light. Oh, 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 oh. Lever goes here. Stop it. I keep accidentally pressing the map. There we go. So we got the lever. Do we just pull both levers? There's something jamming the lever. Oh, it's a clock hand. Yes. Get the clock needle. Okay, I did something. What's happening? Bro, can we uh, undo this? Can we undo this? Do I maybe leave? Jammed and I can't open it. Are you kidding me? Oh! Oh! No! How do I get out of here? Asshole. I've got to redo that. Oh. I've got to redo the combination lock. And I do not want to redo it. At least we got to see a monster of some kind. That was cool. Okay, here we go. Now, I noticed too late. Okay, this goes down. That one moves up. This one. Oh my gosh. Go all the way down. Go, go, go. We need to get out of here. Wrong way. Oh my gosh. This thing's cool. Looks like the grunt from Amnesia a little bit. Wrong way. I wish there was a quick turn. Oh no! Uh, is there any way to struggle out of this? I'm like button mashing. I'll admit I'm not very quick with tank controls these days. It's uh, it's been a little bit. I'll try it again. Okay. Here we go again. Ah shit, here we go again. So the first one here is a left, or her right. I'm going to remember which way to go. I want to say... Nope, it's this way. And it's this way. Alright, I don't know where to go now. That doesn't look like... That doesn't look much like consent to me. God damn it, what kind of lives could have been forged from such horrid a union? I'm getting the hell out of here. No, I agree. That's not where we're going. Okay. What am I doing here? Here? It's not working. What am I doing? Perspective keeps shifting, which is kind of frustrating. What are you supposed to do here? Oh, you just jump in. We're back to the starting area, and there's a new key! 
It's a blue key, which is a devious color. Look, she's looking at it like she's sad. All right, I got an Azure key. And what does the note say? Alas, I am so powerless against the key being in your possession. It is not my will, but the will of our fathers. Yeah, well, too bad. Why would you leave this note? I didn't want you to have this key, but you know. As much as you have proven your endurance today, you also have seen that, to my dismay, I can't always protect you. So take this medallion as a gift for me. Be strong. Jenny, thanks. You signed the other ones, Jennifer. Wait, it was crossed out. The note was crossed out. Look. It look... It looks like the person who actually wrote this note was like Molly or something? It's hard to read, but then it was crossed out and written Jenny. That's not... But she always signs it Jennifer. Not Jenny. So I'm a little confused about that. Alright, we got the clock needle. And we got the Azure key. Of course... Wait, did it, did it, I'm sorry, did it say Yucky Backyard? Yucky Black Gunk. Huh. Now, I didn't go down the southern uh, ladder right there, so I might want to try that in a second. But, I'm also thinking... Maybe... Maybe we try something in the crematorium, because I do have the jar of oil and the matches, and I do remember her saying like, oh, I can't see, or something like that. So maybe there's a way to light it up. It's the only place I can think of where we need light, where it's, it's too dark to see, so. Okay, actually, oddly enough, I think I've got to do it where it says sink, which I don't remember that room, actually. But I think it's on the other side of the peephole. What is this contraption? A sink? I wonder where the drain leads. Okay. So you do pour the jar of oil in the sink right here. And it drains... And then do we light it with the match? So now it's all on fire. So now we go down to the crematorium and we look through the peephole and maybe it'll tell us something interesting. Although I can't imagine what. That was weird. I don't know what that was all about. Something dropped though. A fan. Watch out! <laughs> Abigail. Alright. There is a save spot here, so I'm gonna save. And we're gonna... Oh yeah, look, it's all lit up now. Those are the symbols from the three-door room. Okay. So you got upside down J. Weird S, upside down J, S, S, S. And a lot of burning bodies that we're now setting ablaze. Okay, so I guess that's the order in which you go through the doors in that one room. Oh, oops. Okay, so we go through this one first, like I did earlier. And then we go through a weird S which is across. And then we go through upside down J thing again. And then we're gonna go through weird S like a bunch of times in a row. And we're never gonna go through that other one. Pretty sure. It's like we come out, but then we go back in. I, I am doing this right. It just feels weird. Yes, we did it correctly. What is this? It's a green key. There's a key attached to this cross. Take the key. Of course, I got a verdant key. Love the word verdant. 
dying on it or lying below. Either way, the cross reigns over your death. Am I to find solace in this sight, or would I rather go through fire? Uh, that's a weird thing to wonder, <laughs> Abigail. All right, so we got, no, stop it. So I got two new keys and I got the clock needle. I'm thinking the clock needle is gonna be instrumental in some sort of clock puzzle because I found a lot of clocks. On the back it reads, Saint Dymphna, pray for us, it is meant to ward off demonic influences. I wonder if I need it for something. Probably not this. Oh, we came out of that room. Gotcha. Well, cool. Oh, I used the clock needle. Oh, cool. Oh. Where's that one? I know where those two are. Oh, I think there's part of the map I haven't been to yet. So I need to get over there. Can I go in? Ooh, I can go into the big one. Nice, okay. So there's there's one of the clocks, two o'clock. Yeah, I think I need to go to the lower left corner of the map and explore a little bit, because I haven't been over there. What does this say? Dancing around the circle of time, the beast awaits a deathly chime. With key in hand and blood in sight, red. It opens mouth to swallow light. First is the proud king, monarch of beasts, Leo, the lion. Second is the doppelganger under the moon, Gemini. Third is the bowman with deathly intent, the bowman. Fourth is the killer that hides within man. Seventh is the chaser of all things red. Eighth is the pawn under darkened tide. Ninth is the judgment, the weight of a soul. Tenth is the incubus, born of a witch. Wait, the judgment, the weight of the soul. Um, that would be, uh, whatever it's called. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know that was real helpful. Twelfth is the coming of the desert lord. The day the beast has fed and all four stars are dead, the key is yours to keep. So this is for the final key. Moon's cry and blood. A beast devouring four stars. Yeah, it's kind of nonsensical, isn't it? Ah, I wish I could go across here. What if I turned off my light, though? Oh, it's just too bad that that didn't work. Oh, wait. What? Looks like something has ripped its way out of the wall. There's so much blood. This wasn't here before. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Wait, this says something different now. No, you're not. <laughs> what is it? Uh, through you, out of here, through you, out of here, through you, out of here, in you, out of here, into you, out there, flesh to flesh, through you, out of here. No, you're not what? What is this? Child's letter under the desk. I've always wanted to be a mom. That is so cool. It must feel very nice to get impregnated. <laughs> I am so happy I'll be a bride to our Lord and angel. I'll be mother to a new kind of people. Somebody needs to tell that kid what's going on. What the devil is that? It's emanating perilous want. I feel like I shouldn't be looking. The glass now seems more fragile than ever. Uh. Yeah, bro, let's leave. <laughs> let's get out of here. It's all dark here now. So here's where I haven't been, over here. I want to say there's a clock. There is. Now that's interesting. Okay, so I, let's say. The moon bleeds 1982. As far back as I can think, I know this date, 1982. But could it mean more than that? Yeah, good question. 1982. Lock is broken. Oh! Well, at least we found the third clock. Okay, so, considering that... Moon? Huh? So if we were to go 1982 here, that'd be... Leo... Something, something... 
Gemini. Nine is the judgment, the way of the soul, the scales, you know, whatever one that is. Eight is the pawn under darkened tide. I'll have to figure out which one that is. Libra is the scales. Okay. So it's, it's, uh, Leo, Libra, and then the pawn under darkened tides. Aquarius? Maybe? I <laughs> I don't know, where do I even, like, enter these in? This here just says... Moon. The moon bleeds. So we set this to one, maybe? It's Roman numerals. I don't know, what does this one say? Is it just numbers again, or... No. The first one's Leo. Yeah, that's Leo. Hmm. The pawn is actually probably Pisces. So hang on, am I gonna have to do this clock thing four times? <laughs> evil mutterings from evil thing. Okay, so apparently I got this one wrong. If this isn't it, then I don't know what to do. Like, I guess this is the sun. Oh, we got it. <laughs> it's moving the thing. Great. Oh, thank you. Oh, now I can quickly go back and forth between the three clocks. Okay, so for this next one, we'll switch it back to moon. Because now it's... 1982. The moon bleeds 1982, right? Uh, so... Let's see if we can just go back. So for this next one... Lock from the other side! Are you freaking... <laughs> just wait till I break this fragile glass! I'll have myself a little snack. So now this clock, we're gonna set to nine and nine was also not libra oh wait was it libra let's just try it it doesn't matter what one was libra that one i got it pretty simple so we're trying to get that spiral staircase to finally reach us huh Okay, let's go ahead and just go to eight, which is Pisces, which is, I don't know what Pisces looks like. So eight is Pisces. And then I'm gonna change the numeric clock to eight. And then if this doesn't work, then we're gonna have to change it back to the other clock back to moon. Oops, or uh, sun, I guess. All right. It'll be a lot quicker this time though, because we can just cut through the clock room. Thank God. Oh, unlock the door. Thank you. We don't have to walk past the chuckling monster this time either. Behind the fragile glass. Okay, just flip it. And it's right. I don't get this part of things. I don't. Thankfully, there's only two options. Whether it's sun or moon. So if you get the other two right, you know, you can just go and switch this one, which I'm gonna guess that this one's moon now. It would make sense. I'm gonna be mad if I have to come back here though. Two. We're on the home stretch, fellas and ladies. I actually looked at my stats recently and I think the ratio is like almost 50-50 now, which is pretty crazy to think about, of uh, male to female, you guys. There we go. Very cool. Now, since I don't want to have to do all of this over again, I'm gonna go save and then we'll continue on.
Excuse me. Oh, actually, come on. We got the verdant key. Let's just stick it in here. Easy. Right? And actually, we got the azure key, too, so just use that one. Hopefully, we're about to get the last one, whatever it is. And then we'll be done with chapter one, I think? All right, here it goes. We're gonna climb down the spiral staircase. Wherever it starts. Does it start here? There we go. Yeah! Um... I got an ochre key. Oh no, don't do this to me. No! I guess we'll just go right back up then. We can't explore down here because of the camera angle. All right, now what's gonna happen when we put this last key in? Because we're done with everything on the map, I think. What about that thing behind the glass? Is it ever gonna come out? Creesh. That's the sound of glass breaking. I don't know, I'm not sticking around to find out. <laughs> Let's go. Here we are. We've done it. Oh, shit. Let's go in. What's inside? <laughs> of course. I wouldn't expect anything less that's from a game that's heavily influenced by Silent Hill. Let's jump into the hole. Stay or leave? What's going on here though? What's this? Let's just talk, talk to him, I guess. Our angel has come, clothed in kid's flesh, and... It's you! Uh, you're not... Don't you dare walk out on me this time! Listen, you're the only other person I found, and I want some answers! How did you resist the holy touch? The gift that was to be yours? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, just tell me what's going on! Where the hell am I? Hell? No, no, dear. This is our sacred kingdom. Our paradise. How glorious it is. For now, at least. Paradise? It's not exactly harps and clouds, is it? Expectations deceive. I can attest to that. But how did you manage to get here? Didn't you want me to follow you? That was not the question. You shouldn't be here. So... How... Are you warded? Yes. Using some blasphemous shield to thwart our angel? Oh yeah, I have the brooch or whatever. Don't like this? Don't pull it out! She cannot seize her apostasy. Who? Your mother, of course. My mother? What do you know about- I have seen her writings too. She's here. Albeit not in the flesh. Meddling in matter is far beyond her right and light! He mad. Are you calling me fat? What are you even saying? Jennifer! She gave it to you, didn't she? The medallion. Can I have it? No! What? No! All right, all right, so be it. Get lost. Wait, is that my doorknob? Did uh, you steal it? Wow. Well... You brought me here, didn't you? You brought yourself here. I barely showed you the way. 
Then show me the way out! Now! Okay. Right through there, my dear. That's my apartment. Your ticket home. I don't understand. After all your effort to lead me here, you... You just let me go? You do not want to share in the sacredness here. You reject our holy lord. I have offered you a light. But if that is not your choice, your will, I'd much rather you do in your heretic ways abscond. Fine. I'm out of here. Bye. Don't forget what you came for. Oh yeah, the doorknob. I'm not touching that thing. Hmm. Do we really want to touch the doorknob? Look, he made it a little pillow, so it's nice and comfy. <laughs> I got my doorknob. Okay. Bye! I'm leaving. I'm not talking to you again, Dad. Wait. Your medallion. You can't have it. No, no. But listen, you, uh, you must enter with the medallion first. Like this, like a lantern, to light the way. You got bad breath, dude. Why is that important? I know that locket. Remember, your mother wants you to stay. You know it. You've read it yourself. Her medallion's power is too close to your heart. Would no doubt keep you from leaving. You might be right. Good luck. And remember... To live up to your name. Uh oh. Hmm. Hey, uh, yeah, we get it. You're evil. You got a lot of phlegm in your throat, dude. Ugh. It's time to clean this place up, I think. Where are you, Abigail? Oh! Somebody's been eating Chinese food in my apartment. <laughs> what? That's a corrupted version. Don't worry, Mom. I will find you. Well, that was uh, Simulacrum Chapter 1, with more chapters to come. Can't believe this thing's free. Uh, yeah, that was great, especially considering it was made by, uh, mostly by these two people right here, Andrew Gledhill Carr and Christopher A. Summer. Did most of the, most everything, except the voice acting and music. Well, actually, no, Christopher's the composer and does the sound design as well, so. Never mind. 
I looked at the credits on the menu before I started so I could make sure that I was portraying everything accurately about the game, and it looks like I still didn't. All right, well, uh, let's talk about Simulacrum. So, English localization or translation or whatever is not great, in my opinion. It's a little rough around the edges. I think it could be cleaned up quite a bit. As far as how the game looks and feels, it's, I mean, it's Silent Hill. They got the look and feel down pat. Aside from the facial animations, I would say, I mean, this looks almost exactly like a PS2 Silent Hill game. It, like right down to the, the film grain and the atmosphere and the colors that they used and the sound effects. I mean, it's a very faithful uh, Silent Hill inspired game. Beyond that, though, looking beyond all the nostalgia glasses things like, oh, this could have been a PS2 horror game. I, I wish there was more to it than the puzzles. It strikes me right now, chapter one, as mostly just an atmospheric puzzle game. There are, I mean, there was that long cutscene towards the end, which kind of got into more of the story, but there was a lot of note reading. There was a lot of puzzles and a lot of atmosphere. And that's great, but that's just one small part of what made Silent Hill such a groundbreaking series. I think what it's missing right now is combat, and I usually am not one to pipe up in favor of combat being inserted into a horror game or, you know, made a focus. It needs enemies and weapons. Without it, it's just an atmospheric puzzle game, which is fine. You know, if that's what they want to do, but I think it would really enhance the game a lot to have combat in it, unfortunately. And enemies, monsters, things like that. There was that one part where we had a chase sequence, which was nice to break things up and provided a little bit of a uh, heart race in action. So I appreciate that that was in there, but I think there needs to be like a consistent presence of combat or uh, if not combat, then monster threats, you know, ways to get a game over. Not one hit kill monsters though. That is a complaint I have that the monster in the chase sequence was a one hit kill monster. I think it would be better if it was something that injured you or did something else. Maybe made the screen slowly. I, I liked the effect where it made the screen slowly uh, vibrate and blur out. That was a cool effect. I think it didn't have to result in a death. I think that was kind of disorienting enough, but what do I know? Overall though, I have positive things to say. I just wish there was like a little more meat on the bones, you know? But again, for a free game, this is great, <laughs> you know? I don't know if future chapters will be uh, free or not. I know that this is on a pay what you want system, so if you really liked what you saw, Right here, I would definitely recommend heading on over to their Game Jolt page, which is linked in the description. Maybe throwing them some coffee money or something. Something to help keep them afloat while they're making this game, because it's only two people, and it's being released for free, so... I think they should be compensated somehow. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know what you guys thought about Simulacrum Chapter 1 in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Think critically. Hey guys, if you enjoyed Simulacrum, you might also enjoy the original Silent Hill games, all of which I have played on the channel except for Shattered Memories. I'll leave links to the first part of some playthroughs at the end of the video. Thanks for watching!